will be in a circle and you'll have your palms out like this. So uh, if we can fill in the circle this way and that'll let us know if we need to pull it back. We'll have one person that we designate as it and they'll have to call the name of someone else in the circle. The person that is in the middle, what you are trying to do is find that person before they have an opportunity to call someone else's name. So for example, if, is it pronounced Kant? Yes. Kant is it, and he looks across and calls Josh. Then the person in the middle wants to try to tag Josh before Josh has the opportunity to call another person. So in that manner, it is tagged. And if you could get a name badge and join our circle here, and we have a, enough space. Yeah. All right. Um, so modifications may be to point to the person whose name is being called before they get a chance to, to call someone else. So if you're in a group that wouldn't do tag, well, most of our kids will do tag, then you could use that as a modification. But any questions? We understand that initial activity. I, I just have one. Yes. I don't know if anybody else is half blind like me, but some of these things I can't even see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and that, 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 was, that was my fault. I should have, I should have well, emphasized. Do we have a black marker? And say their name. Good. All right. Excellent solution. So if we could start with Marshall, and go around Michelle, and go around, and exactly. I still look like an A to me. Oh, it is Michelle. Okay, Michelle. Uh, to go around and say your name, then yeah, that that and will help something. And we'll do something. our best to remember. Right, 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 right. Excuse me, excuse me. Yes, you're going to go around. This So pull your circle in a little bit. Everybody, remember? Yes. Okay, so he is going to try to tag the person that's called. We need one person to be it to start us. Okay, so he's going to call the name of somebody in the circle. And Josh is going to try to tag them before they have the opportunity to call someone else's name. Yeah, yeah, they got, you got to move in. You got to move in. Right. Before I tag you. Right. Right, right, right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Roberta. Angel. <laughs> 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 so who's it now? Oh, no. uh, uh, it can be Josh. Yes. Um, and you're trying to tag the person that Josh calls before they can call somebody else.
mati lagi. To the next segment, there was a second game in this segment we're going to skip. We'll go to the next segment. But I heard Russ say the key is that now we know some names. So rather than just, you know, kind of initially saying the name and then you forget all about it five seconds later, what is your name again? After doing that a little bit, you, you learn one another's name. This next one is called Rhythm Hunter. So the idea is that one of you is going to be the lead. We're going to have the person who's it hide their eyes so we'll determine that and you're going to start a rhythm everybody else in the group is going to follow the rhythm of the leader the leader at some point will change the rhythm and everybody else in the group wants to follow them the person who is it has to try to figure out who's the leader to this group who's got the rhythm started the idea is for all of us that are in the group to be as seamless as possible so it's hard for the person who is it to determine who the rhythm leader is, so that's why they're the rhythm hunter. So, who will be it? Um, that is the question. Pick a number from 1 to 30, starting here. Who was one? Who said one? I did. Okay, so you'll be the rhythm starter. So you'll start a rhythm uh, with your group, and it just dawned on me. I had you say your name loud, and I don't know if they could have heard it. Did you hear who said I did? I didn't. Okay, good. Yes, All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know what to do. All right. So. Uh, all right, so Rhythm Hunter, you can come on back in. Do I have to stand in a certain place? No, it's, it's up to you, wherever you stand. <laughs> can I just guess never? Yep. Michelle. Ah, very good, very good. 
good, yes. Very good. Okay, uh, this next one is one uh, evolution morph, and actually, I love this one. And we can move around a little bit more. You don't just have to stay in a circle. Um, but everybody is going to start as an egg. So this is the egg. You're going to... Uh, let's modify it. If you can, do, can, you, can you do it at least like this? Okay. All right. All right. So this is the egg or, or this. But that's the egg. You're going to find another partner. We all start off as eggs. You're going to find another partner and go up to the partner who has the egg and you're going to do the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Everybody know rock, paper, scissors, shoot? If you do not, let me know. I don't explain. So rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Let's do rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, Come no. out of the egg. Rock, paper. See, rock, I don't, paper. I, okay. I don't, so rock, I paper, scissors, shoot. Like this, is, this is the rock. This is the paper. And this is the scissors. If you have the rock, the rock can break scissors. If you have the paper, the paper can cover a rock, but scissors could cut it. So you determine who won the match by whichever they get. So let's do rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. So she cut the paper, so she won. So she'll get to go from the egg to the chicken. I'll have to stay an egg. And then we'll go around and let's say she's now the chicken and she goes and she wins the rock, paper, scissors, shoot to the next partner. Then she'll go from a chicken to a dinosaur. She's evolving. And then if she wins the next person she meets, rock, paper, scissors, shoot, she'll go from a dinosaur to a superhero. Once you become a superhero, you are always a superhero and you cannot devolve or go backwards. But until you become a superhero, every time you lose, you go back a step. So if you're a dinosaur and you lost, you're going back to a chicken. If you're a chicken and you lost, you're going back to an egg. The idea is that you want to evolve into a superhero. All right? So everybody start in your egg position. Like I said, you can move around a little bit more for this one because you're going to go up to a partner and do rock, paper, scissors, shoot to determine if you're going to go from the egg to a chicken to a dinosaur to the superhero. All right? So go ahead and get started.
creativity in the last segment. And this one, we gotta pull the carpet out, and we gotta pull the tape out. This one is called Magic Carpet. So everyone is going to have to get on the carpet. All right. And where's the tape for the name tags? We're going to use the one we can see this time. So we'll use the bronze. All right. So everyone get on the carpet. We have the old way on? Uh, mm, maybe just touching. Toes? Just toes touching. All right. So now that you are on the carpet, I want you, as the tape goes around, to write one challenge and make it a one-word challenge that you are having in your group or your organization. If you're not in an organization or you're just perfect and not having any challenges, come and challenge that someone may have in a group. All right? So, um, let's say funding. So, you would just write that on your tape. And don't worry about the spelling. And I short, short on it. Good. All right? And you're going to stick it right there on oh, the top, all right? All right. I'll take that. <laughs> that was smooth. Y'all see how she did that? <laughs> did you happen to see some uh, paper, like stickies in the car with the three-hole punch? I bought them specifically for this to move around a little bit quicker. When you got the DVDs in the back, was look in there. Go look in there. And while it's going around, you can you can talk about it. It doesn't have to be you know secret. Some of us have already listened. We can just we can pick up the notes. Yeah, let's let's some guys. Oh wow! So to our organizations and we put them down on the magic carpet. Now let's think of, we won't be able to do for all of them for the sake of time, but let's think of some solutions or ways that we could flip these challenges and make them actual solutions. So, can we pick volunteers since that's the purpose of this workshop? Okay, so how would, would uh, you, you flip that? If that was the problem, how could you make that Bring a solution to that if you have, have issues with getting volunteers. Yeah. Are you 
Yes. So how how do you solve that? Yeah, you can only go to like high schools. I'll go to high schools, you know, right? And this is a high school student. <laughs> Very good. All right, pick two more. I think um, two more items that can be turned and made. This is going to be hard one, but transportation. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 so, transportation, the solution. What was the solution or the way you can? I mean, I thought it would like even challenging the way we do our programs. Instead of doing it at a location that requires transportation, you find a way to do it inside the community where the transportation is okay. inside of our property. That's good. Walking distance. But another thing is, well, later on, when the winter comes, it starts to swim. So it's kind of dangerous for the kids to walk in the nighttime. Okay. And then those are common problems. So then, what would be a solution to uh, uh, yeah, the yeah. time? Yeah. What would be a solution to if it was darker and you needed safety then, or students getting home? What would be a solution to that? Um, well, it depends on the students. Well, it depends on our students. Yeah. 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 That we service now or in the area, and so uh, one one I'm mean, gonna use the word try because it's weird to use explain. Uh -huh. So uh, they would pick up at Data Academy, they pick up at Java or whatever, whatever, and then they come and they stay. Mercy's going the white bread kills mercy. So anyway, <laughs> so we've got three there. All right. So again, in the interest of time, let's everybody get on the carpet. All the way on. None of your body can be off of the magic carpet. Now your objective, since you have managed to come up with ways to flip these challenges inside out or over to find solutions, as a team would be to turn this carpet over without any of you touching the floor. Because after all, you're on a magic carpet and it's hovering in the air. Everybody go to that side on the corner. That is your okay. team building up their experience. She's not rolling Wait a minute, hold on. Yeah. I got tape on the bottom of my foot. <laughs> Just as long as your foot doesn't come off. <coughs> if anybody's foot comes off and you touch the up, out, up, off of your carpet, you have to start oh, off. No. Oh, yeah. Come on. You can get it right close to the off of the carpet. Oh, that's not easy. That's uh, all right. Kind of. You get it right close to the off of the carpet. Oh, yeah, right, right. I am thinking that I can keep going to work. Bunch of factors in the 40s with my
what you say? Say it again. Me? Yes. Yeah. Superheroes lift up. Fly. All right, yeah. let's do that. All right. I'll oh, it's here. superheroes. <laughs> We're flying. We're flying. All the superheroes come on. We're flying.